Good afternoon, welcome back to Bullet Wanderer and to get things started I'd like to announce the tragic end of midweek moto no commentary rides. It was a long run but I thought it was time to retire those videos, all two of them. Now, good morning and welcome back to midweek moto with commentary which will take its place. Due to popular demand, aka one comment saying uh, they prefer the videos where I'm talking to the ones that I'm not. So, I figure, that's a, uh, just a regular sort of vlog. Now, to begin this, today we're having a nose around Clonmel and in front of me is the Bulmers factory. Or Magners, as you might know it elsewhere. What is it? Cider. Do I drink it? No, but I used to. But now it's way too acidic and sugary that it just, uh, ugh, you feel sick after one pint of it. Uh, today we're doing an experiment as well. Tiny Cam is back. Hello. Um, and hopefully Tiny Cam has failed me again. Why do I call it tiny camera and you can see it's relatively the same size camera as the GoPro? The answer is I don't know, I just do. Where are we today? Today, we're in Clonmel in County Tipperary. We're going to have a nose around. Why Clonmel? Why not in County Kilkenny? Am I breaking restrictions again? No, thankfully, as of May 10th, Inter-county travel is permitted again. Why Clonmel? Well, there's a plethora of reasons to come to Clonmel, but for me it's nostalgia because I went to college here, back from 2013 to 2017. Uh, I went to LIT, Limerick Institute of Technology, but it's a satellite branch called LIT Clonmel, because it's in Clonmel, funnily enough. And I study animation or Digital Animation Production, which was the name of the course, because I used to like animation. I still do, but that's a topic for another day. Um, but I thought, while I'm here, I'll give you a quick look around, a uh, quick walk down memory lane through the lovely streets of Clonmel. I think it was a great town. So, some lap bus stuff, at least in the last year of college, every Sunday night, we would go to a pub called, I think it's called Carol's. It's just down that way, but we'll pass by it in a minute because of one way streets and all that. There's a military barracks somewhere back that way. So this is a good spot for a walk. Now, coming up on the right is going to be Gleason's. Which is where every good night out started back in college. And every bad night out. Generally just every night out happened there. And there she is with people outside. The decor has changed but uh, the name has not. many a pint were had in there. Now this building is one that I forget its purpose of. So, sorry. Now up on this street you have McDonald's which is where many a morning after the night before were spent recovering. I don't know if you've ever heard of McDonald's, but it's a fast food franchise. Down this way to the right is the cinema. Uh, not to bash it or anything, but when we were watching the Lego Batman movie in one screen, we could hear the cinema next door, uh, which was a bit more of an adult film, so 
lovely gunshots and scream noises in the middle of the wholesome Batman Lego film. Now that lion uh, is where we used to get chips from sometimes. The lads liked them, but I didn't think they, they were anything to write home about. Dooley's and Tremor, you can write home about. But of course you're already in at home, so why would you be sending letters? Here we are again on that street with that building because I forget how to navigate through these weird one-way streets. Mulcahy's there was a pretty good middle of the night out uh, pub. Uh, they have a pool table in the back with a jukebox that you can cue songs on. I think 20 cents a song or something like that. So I think I had a good time putting on annoying songs for everyone to be forced to listen to because that was my thing back then. Nowadays we can't go out, but when we can, we'll be putting on more annoying songs for people to be annoyed to. Tom Skinny's is a nice pizza and ice cream place that uh, sometimes we went to. Here's the back of Mulcahy. That's the guard station. Now to the right here, I think it's called Ali Kebabs, which is where a lot of nights out ended. Right next to the pop called Friends. I'm sure they have the license from Warner Brothers for that. Uh, there was a funny story once that uh, all I wanted was a can of coke uh, and everyone was getting their chips at the end of a big night and um, let me pull into ten minutes. So all I wanted was a can of coke but for some reason they gave it to me in a paper bag with a plastic fork um, and I think the ridiculousness of that situation is what made me remember it just now. That Coco Cafe used to be Subway. Good for it. Baker's was a nice ish bar, actually no. Was it? Yeah it was. And that's Phil Carroll, so you'd go down the back there on a Sunday night and have your pints before the week ahead. Uh, Field Masters there is where you'd get all your art supplies for animation college because you'd be doing a lot of drawing. Now on the right there, Parnell Takeaway was the other place that your night out could end. And they did chips that I would write home of that compared to Lions. I'm sorry to the Lions fans that I know are watching, but Parnell's is just better. And of course you have to end that night out with chips because that was the done thing. It set you up right for the next day. Or at least in theory. In practice. Uh, it probably did a lot more harm than good in terms of staying away, staving off hangovers. Now the shenanigans there is a pub we went into in first year once. Once. That's all I'll say. And then up on the right here we have Cooper's. Which was close to one of our houses in college so we spent some time in there for maybe pints but it also has an off license attached so good time all around and here's Clonmel train station where one train passes by every day around half five but it's also where the buses stop to get back home and off this way we're going along the way I would have walked to college now is the college itself, funnily enough. And to the right down there is a place called the Railway Bar. Which was decent, but a bit out of the way. For posterity purposes, I'm going to have to try and take a picture of this in front of the college. 